Euroboxers, we are back here to review Belgium's rehearsal. The first time they've rehearsed on this Eurovision stage, it's Hubophonic with the wrong place. Tommy, what have you? Th what are your thoughts on the rehearsal? Yeah, so now for something completely different. So yeah, it was very stripped back, very classy. It felt like almost a rock concert performance, mm -hmm. very dark. Um, kind of black and white visuals of Geika's face in the background. Mm -hmm. um, so very like live music band, stripped back all about the vocals mm -hmm. and the music. Yes, yes indeed, because I think this is their strength. They're a live band, they, this is what they're good at. And I think even the back vocals are, uh, are live because we saw people on stage with microphones behind the singer and in between the band. So maybe uh, they can capitalize on that. Yeah, I think so. And also, uh, Geika was really the center of attention mm -hmm. for a lot of us, even though there's quite interesting panning and angles and stuff. But it was all about her facial expressions, yes. really. She had a very captivating look on her face and she never broke contact with the camera. She was very much directly <laughs> <laughs> addressing the audience. So, yeah, yeah, that's a huge responsibility and a huge weight of carrying the whole performance on her shoulders based on her facial expression. I think that's very clever, considering the very... Uh, full performances that fall that uh, precede them and follow them so i think it's going to attract a certain type of audience i think so yeah especially because it's so different from everything mm -hmm. we've seen before that's very very hyper production mm -hmm. hyper choreography hyper drama mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll say but uh yeah how do you think that will work do you think that will work in their favor uh i i don't know i don't know i'm i'm on the fence on this one it's really great it's really classy it's uh it's very elegant uh, but I don't know what the audience are going to choose, like overproduced music, uh, factory pop music, or yeah. this very soulful uh, performance. Yeah. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below if you think Belgium has chances to qualify or it's going to miss the mark this year. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave us a comment. See you next time. Bye. Bye.